All right, move over water skiing squirrel. There's a new act in town. Timpson has definitely seen their fair share of an earthquake this week. Something like this that is fist size could be worth up to $1,000. In order to save your tree, you can put some hay over your tree soil. I actually have here with me a schedule of Adam's last 72 hours and um, most of his time it says here was spent in visitation, eating and sleeping. Texas woman walked into her front yard to find a company chopping down a large oak tree. XTC built these stairs to help military athletes train against gravity. It wasn't until late this afternoon that police confirmed the name of the body that was found in this home. They first have to bring each horse through a gated chute, draw their blood and then tag them. Spending less time sitting down could help you live longer. Longview police got several calls late last night from this typically quiet neighborhood. A healthy female hog can have up to two to three litters a year, and each litter has up to about 10 piglets. Yes, I like okay. any vegetable. Oh, gosh, you're a good healthy eater. <laughs> Doesn't mean I eat them. Good mama. <laughs> there are new bond conditions for the East Texas dentist accused of murdering his wife. 76-year-old Bobby Nichols was indicted Thursday for the murder of 71-year-old Rosalind Nichols. Now, the Smith County District Attorney asked a judge to double Nichols bond, but that request was denied. Construction has started to connect Interstate 20 with Loop 49 in Tyler. Workers have begun moving dirt to build the ramps and bridge crossing of I-20. It's said that every veteran has a story, and the Texas State Veterans Home in Tyler is rich with our country's veterans and their stories. Well, today kicked off the first ever Cake Palooza in Tyler. It's a cake festival and cake competition featuring bakers from all over East Texas. Now, East Texans poured out to the event at a family-friendly event with activities for the kids and a chance for bakers to show off their skills. Festival coordinators say they wanted to bring the community together to celebrate cake artistry and Tyler, but it's also for a good cause. Now, the proceeds from the event go to No Child Hungry, a campaign to end child hunger in America by 2015. Those are making me hungry. I was about to say, do you get the feeling we're in the wrong spot tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get the feeling bit. we could be someplace else. Not with else. Mama Steph, though. She always leaves us. Right. Coffee. We had we had good food this <laughs> evening after after KLTV Seven News at five. She made some good baked goods, so we we yeah. dealt with after the cupcake. Well, it was zucchini, zucchini blueberry, blueberry bread. bread. Zucchini so berry is what we were calling. Yeah, the recipe oh. online. Yeah, so it's on KLTV.com. Go check it out. It's okay, good. stop, stop. It's time <laughs> to talk about yeah. weather now. A Texas high school is vibrating tonight with music and cheers in their new sixty million dollar Eagle Stadium. Allen High School has their first football scrimmage tonight in their brand new stadium. The Allen Stadium is the most expensive high school stadium in the nation. And, and just beautiful. so, yeah, just so we know, <laughs> Annette, Annette put that she in because there. that's where she went. She's an Eagle alum. I think stay what year I graduated. But Thanks for watching. Year. Stay right here for KLTV 7 News at 10. Have a good night. <laughs> Police said shortly after his arrest, Bobby Nichols admitted to killing his wife. But today, for the first time, we heard that from Nichols himself. Are you okay. feeling okay? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> All right, no, I killed you. my wife, man. Yeah, uh, well, okay. We're not talking anymore. Uh, Just like that, Dr. Nichols confessed to killing 71 year old Rosalind Nichols. Our encounter with Dr. Nichols and his attorney, Bradley Lawler of Dallas, was brief. We just started working on this case, and, you know, there's a long way to go. But um, District Attorney this, Matt Bingham on. says that is the yeah. same confession Nichols gave to police the night of the murder. And he says that is enough. So what we have is someone who has now admitted to uh, killing his wife. I mean, that's a tremendous concern to us because he is out there in, in the public. According to the arrest affidavit, Nichols got into an argument with his wife the night of June 29th. The affidavit says Nichols went out to his vehicle to get his gun and went back into the residence in South Tyler. After further argument, the affidavit says he then shot Rosalind twice. He was charged with murder and was later released on a $750,000 bond. According to Bingham, the Smith County Grand Jury made a probable cause determination today that Dr. Nichols did commit the offense of murder, so they went ahead with the indictment. Because it's a, a violent crime, because of the, the evidence in the case, and uh, as a safety concern, we feel like uh, the bond should be doubled. Um, but there again, we can only make that recommendation to the court, which we've done. Moments after the indictment was handed down this afternoon, Bingham asked Judge Christy Kennedy to double Nichols' bond from $750,000 to $1.5 million. He says he made that request to protect Rosalind Nichols' family. Here is a man who has admitted to killing uh, their grandmother, 
their mother, and uh, he's out on bond after being indicted and admitting to it. And it's, it's a, you know, it's, we want that family to feel safe. Bingham says Judge Kennedy did not increase Nichols' bond, a decision Bingham says he respects but does not agree with. And ultimately, it's up to them, and that's, uh, they're, they're given that authority, and, and whatever they deem appropriate is what they'll do. Which means Dr. Nichols was not rearrested today. His bond remains the same, as does his story of what happened that Friday night nearly two weeks ago in a home in a quiet South Tyler neighborhood. I don't want to talk about anything in regard to the case yet. We haven't investigated it well enough to know yet. Okay. Are you okay. feeling okay? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> All right, I killed my wife. And, uh, now, Taylor, we believe our encounter with Dr. Nichols happened just moments after his attorney appeared on Nicholas's behalf before the grand jury. It was only a few hours later, at the most, that the grand jury handed up their indictment this afternoon. <laughs> It's the sound of screeching wild hogs. 140. Hog hunter Jay Wilson spends every evening searching for hogs. They'll come up anywhere there's water standing, ponds, creeks, stuff like that. They'll, they'll go to the water. And recently, Wilson hunts hogs just as much in the city limits as the county. Get to the roots and the grass and stuff, grubs, any kind of insects. They'll eat just about anything. With the summer drought, water sources are low, forcing hogs to head to the city for water and food. Yards are typically fertilized, and so there's more nutrients in that soil inside the city. Hog buyer Philip Swallow says after these hungry wild animals hit your yard, it may be too late. It's very damaging, takes years to regain your meadow, uh, and unfortunately, about the time you get it fixed, here they come back again. Well, there's no really good way to get them. They, they reproduce so quick, you can't get on top of them. A healthy female hog can have up to two to three litters a year, and each litter has up to about 10 piglets. This is one of eight. Give this little guy a month, and he'll be irrigating your lawn. Swallow says homeowners in the city can buy a hog panel to put around the perimeter of the yard. Typically, they're feeding as they walk, and if they bump up against that little two-foot fence, they'll turn around and go somewhere else. If that doesn't work, it may be time to call a local hog hunter. In Starville, Annette Falconer, KLTV 7 News.